Have you ever been out and having fun and realized that the time is just passing by? Or have you ever been in a very boring class and realized that time is going extremely slow? The purpose is to figure out why time moves so fast when you're having fun and moves so slow when you're not. The first thing I did was head straight to Google. I searched up, why does time move fast when you're having fun? Now, a lot of articles and pictures showed up, but I actually found a very good video. The question at issue is, how our emotions affect how we perceive time? The information that I will be providing today came from the database in BC Library, a short poll that I took on my social media account, and also a short video that I found on YouTube. The passage of time has to do with how much we are paying attention to it. When you're having fun, you're likely focused on a bunch of things. Going back to that concert, you're listening to the music, dancing with friends, and watching the performers. Oh my god, I love this band. Chances are you are not on your phone looking at the time, unless you're that guy. Don't be that guy. But the point is that your attention is on other things besides the duration of the event, so time goes by without us really noticing it. But when you are focused on the time, you definitely know how slowly it crawls. As they say, a watched pot never Called boils. The lateral interparietal cortex is responsible for visual attention and time interval reproduction. Now with all that said, there are likely many other areas in the brain responsible for keeping track of time as well. I mean, your body has circadian rhythms which roughly keep track of 24 hours periods of time. And like everything in the brain, different parts work together to produce certain behaviors or actions. So these scientists have probably found only a small piece of the whole puzzle. I still had a couple questions about circadian rhythms, and I didn't think that I would be able to finish my research without fully understanding what it means. After searching through the BC database, I found a perfect passage for me. It was an article about circadian rhythm. The article was titled, Time Optimal Entertainment Control for Circadian Rhythms. After reading up on the passage, I found out that the circadian rhythm functions as a master clock that regulates many physiological processes in humans, including sleep, metabolism, hormone secretion, in neurobehavioral processes. Next, I went out and found another passage. This one was titled, Why Does Time Seem to Fly When We're Having Fun? The subcaption read, Increased dopamine may cause our internal clock to slow down, creating a sense of speeding time. In the same article, it read, Unexpectedly pleasurable events boost dopamine release, which would cause your internal clock to run faster. Your subjective sense of time in that case grows faster than itself, so that short intervals seem longer than they are. The next BC article that I went on to find was named What Affects Our Perception of Time? As far as the concepts, the next slide provides me with information about the theory of embodied cognition. In that same article, I found a passage that reads, It seems to fly when you are having fun and drags when you are bored. This may have to do with our body's way of processing time. The theory of embodied cognition says it is the processing of physical sensations that creates our perception of the world around us, including our sense of time. The last article I found was named When Time Flies, State and Trait Boredom, Time Perception, and Hedonic Task Appraisals. In that same article, it reads, the awareness of time informs, structures, and dictates much of our daily life. For instance, we often think about the time spent committing to a job, the hours expended once we have arrived to work, and the subjective feeling of the work we 
driving on, but the weekend's flying by us. Clock time does not vary as a function of one's present situation. Yet, human beings are acutely aware of situational differences in the speed of time. As a source of information, I took a poll and posted it on my social media account. I asked my fellow followers, does time feel like it's moving fast or slow? 60% answered fast, 40% answered slow. I then asked the poll my research question. They answered 100% yes. All seven answered yes, zero answered no. After reading all the above passages and highlighting some key points that really stuck out to me, my interpretation is emotions do play a role in the way we perceive time, but emotions themselves do not affect the way we perceive time. Dopamine levels, the amount of attention we're giving the clock, circadian rhythms, and the theory of embodied cognition all play effects into the way we receive our time.